Hello, it's Catherine here, and I'm bringing you the daily devotion. And today is a is a day of celebration. And I'll be focusing the stories on Matthew 26, 27 and 28. But it's in all the Gospels, this part of the Jesus story. But I'm going to be bringing you an egg. And this egg, the Jewish people over Passover, they would have a hard-boiled egg at their Passover. It, it was there to symbolize something significant um, for them. It was, yeah, I will read what it says here. It says, the hard-boiled egg serves as a reminder of the festival offering. It is dipped in salt water and eaten at the beginning of the cedar meal. It symbolizes both the celebration of the festivals and the mourning of the loss of the temple in Jerusalem. And as we look at this egg and what is on this egg, and the middle cross, it symbolizes um, Jesus' death on the cross. Um, so three days ago, Jesus walked up to the cross and he was beaten before that. He carried the cross on his back and they put nails through his hands and his feet as they put him on this cross. And he went up on the cross and you can imagine the pain and he was stripped naked and there was blood dripping and it it was just awful for his mom and his disciples to watch. And Jesus had said um, earlier at the Garden of Gethsemane, Oh God, Father, pass this cup from me, but not my will, but yours be done. And so Jesus was on that cross out of love for us taking on all our sin, taking on all our wrongs, taking on everything we have done wrong, so that one day when we die, we don't die to eternal death, but we die to eternal life. And today is the day when we celebrate that three days after Jesus died on the cross, three days ago as he died, the skies went black, and the temple was opened, and the curtain was torn in two. And I mean, it's amazing that this egg for the Jewish people symbolizes um, the mourning of the loss of the temple. But now if we think of Jesus Christ, um, and he speaks of us as our bodies as temples, and he told the people in Jerusalem as he preached before he died, um, this temple will be destroyed, but in three days again I can raise it up. And he was talking about his own body, that in three days after his death on the cross, he would rise again, he'd conquer death, he'd conquer Satan. And when we turn the egg, there we see the tomb has been opened and it's empty. Today we celebrate that Jesus is risen, he conquered death. It's the most amazing story, it's the most amazing um, egg story. <laughs> and um, even this hard-boiled egg was in the Passover as they mourned um, the destruction of the temple and they would dip their hard-boiled egg in salt water but they also had parsley and this parsley they would dip in salt and eat it to remember the bitterness um, of their time in Egypt but you know what they also dipped hyssop in vinegar and very bitter and put it in Jesus's mouth as he was on the cross it wouldn't have quenched his thirst it would have made him suffer but all these symbols from the old testament came right through into jesus's death and resurrection on the cross so now when we look at this egg we don't see jesus on a cross we see an empty cross and we see an empty tomb and we can celebrate not the destruction of the temple but we can or the morning of the loss of the temple, we can celebrate the rising again of Jesus' body, his temple, and that gives us hope for our temples, our bodies, and our lives, that Jesus is alive, and we can celebrate his life. I hope this brings you hope, and as every day as we go through the scriptures and hold on to his words, let us know that he is alive, and that he's our king, and he can conquer every hopeless situation. Let us hope in him.